French officials accuse Britain of refusing to hand out licenses to those who are eligible for them and have threatened retaliatory action if more are not granted. The Prime Minister's official spokesman today said the UK was handing out licenses to all fisheries who had proof of their historic right to access Britain's waters as was agreed in the EU trade deal. He added Britain was continually accessing applications and had granted more licenses to French firms who had provided extra information to support their application just days ago. We granted three further licenses for vessels under 12 meters last week and overall we have granted 98% of license applications from EU vessels, he said. Standing firm in the face of French anger, the number 10 official said the UK would not relax its rules but would continue to fairly assess applications. He added, the licenses are rules relating to vessels being able to demonstrate, as agreed during the Brexit talks, that why have historically fished in those waters. If they have that information then that license is granted as they have been in 98% of cases. Negotiations are being held between the UK and EU in a bid to resolve the dispute. Discussions were held last week and are due to continue today. On Saturday, Olivier Lepreta, chairman of the Regional Maritime Fisheries Committee in northern France, attacked Britain for being intransigent on the issue. He described progress as disappointing but said the French government would not give up in talks. Technical work will continue over the coming days, and at a steady pace, Mr. Lepreta said. We are disappointed by the technical work done this week, but we can't deny some progress has been made. I can see that the government is not giving up an inch. Last week French fishermen threatened to start blockades of Calais, Dunkirk and the Channel Tunnel in protest of the small number of licenses that HADNT been granted. They said the blockades would be larger than previous demonstrations. Action was threatened as soon as the weekend but so far fishermen have not yet started the demonstrations suggesting they are awaiting to see how today's talks go before deciding if to go ahead with the disruption. The blockades would risk having an impact on supply chains in the run-up to Christmas. Laurent Merlin, a French fisherman based at Boulogne-sur-Mer, last week said, we will create as much disruption as we can by blocking primary goods, the things Britain needs the most, he warned. We saw the gas shortage. We will try to create another shortage of something else. We are ready to block everything, Calais, Dunkirk, the Channel Tunnel.